Leo, are you in a situationship? Are you in a connection that's strained or you don't know where you stand or what's up with this person? What's up with their energy? Maybe it's on again, off again. You just need to know where do you stand? What is the energy? I'll never DM you guys or solicit. If you want to book a reading with me, I'm on Etsy. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. All right, so what is the energy? What do you need to know about this connection? So we have four of cups. To me, I feel like this is like you feel very unfulfilled by this connection. Or, you know, it could be that they feel this way. It just feels to me like there's not a lot of effort. Um, somebody could be bored just with their position in life, just bored of everything. This could be somebody that kind of has like a, a very um, distracted attitude. You know, they could act interested one day and then they're disinterested the next. They could be on with you and a lot of attention and pouring into you and attention, attention, and then all of a sudden they turn it off like it's nothing. Um, and it's almost like they're a little bit of a waste of time because I feel like they are just so preoccupied with all the things that they think are like life and death that they could just tune out. And that's not something that you can deal with, Leo. That's something that will actually trigger you. Um, not that you want the spotlight on you every second, but you have to know that the person that you're engaging with is interested. They care. At least they care about your day. Like, you know, so I feel like it's not enough for you. The core of this situationship is that this is not enough for you. This is somebody that makes excuses. They're easily distracted. You know, they're like too laid back, too chill, too boring, too disinterested, too, you know, tired and burnt out. And maybe they're like, meh, and they're mellow. And they're just kind of like, blah. It's almost like, the energy was fire when you first started with this person and it fizzled out, but you tried to keep the spark alive. You know, you really, you know, maybe you were trying to be creative with this person or trying to suggest different things that you do together or, you know, you were just trying to change your mindset and they just weren't with it. It's just like, this person is almost like proud of their indifference. It's like they do very little to change. They don't see the problem. They don't see their, 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 self as the problem ever. It's like they have bad habits to unlearn. They just waste time with things. They don't really see a way out of their problems. They they kind of like whine and complain. They don't really want to work on things or for things. They kind of have like a little bit ulterior motives energy, I want to say. And I do feel like they're kind of like stuck and bored and unhappy and just like, I don't know, unproductive, I want to say. Like, um no desire to change. It's, it's, it's really kind of negative and you're more positive and you're more like, you know, about the truth and, you know, not playing games and wasting energy. And, you know, you're more about like counting your blessings and showing gratitude and they're just not, it's kind of like blocking your energy. So yeah, if you're like in a situation, definitely use your intuition, protect your energy and love and light. I hope this was helpful.